Before we start developing our visual novel, let's get ready and download all the programs that we may need during the creation process. First, of course, you need RenPy. What is RenPy? Well, if you don't know this, first it's strange that you're watching this video. But nevertheless, in short, RenPy is an engine for creating visual novels. What is an engine? It's a program that helps you with the most common tasks in visual novel making. It helps you draw pictures, menus, play sounds and so on and so on. So creating a visual novel with RenPy will be much easier than without it. To download RenPy, go to RenPy.org, press the big green download button and select the archive for your operating system. If you have Windows, just click exe. If Mac OS or Linux choose another archive, download, unpack it somewhere and for example in case of Windows just run the exe file which will launch our program. We will start working in this program in the next video, but for now we will download some more very useful programs. The first software we need is a code editor. Well, basically you can write your game's code in any text editor, <laughs> whether in Notepad or MS Word, but it is advisable to download a special editor for this. There are a whole bunch of them, moreover, a whole bunch of free good editors. You can choose any you like. You can even choose a paid one, it doesn't really matter. I will be working in Notepad++ editor. You can download for free at notepad++.org. Again, push the download button, choose your system, download, install. We'll get to working with the editor a little later. Uh, since visual novels are crammed with pictures and text, we will definitely need a program for working with images. I'm using GIMP and this is essentially a free Photoshop alternative. Maybe it's not as advanced as Photoshop, but nevertheless GIMP is a very good and powerful software. It has a huge number of all sorts of functions and, and stuff, perhaps even more functions than most people will need. And I highly recommend it. Again, go to GIMP.org, download it for free, install and enjoy your life. Besides the GIMP, another useful thing I would like to recommend you is the Fast Stone Image Viewer. Again, you can use any viewer uh, that is convenient for you, but Fast Stone has several very basic image manipulation capabilities. It can resize pictures, crop and perform other simple operations. This is sometimes just much faster than processing and picture in GIMP. Just open a picture, click resize and save, takes just a few seconds. It's very fast, very convenient, so I really recommend it. Faststone.org, download button as usual. And since visual novels also contain music and sounds, we'll need Audacity. This is an audio editor in which you can change the format of sound file, you can change the volume, you can apply some sound effects and so on and so forth. It's a very useful thing. Again, this program is free, you can download it audacityteam.org. Download button, choose Windows, Mac OS, Linux or whatever system you have. Download, install, enjoy. And one more thing that many people underestimate and do not use for some reason is a mind map editor. Why do you need one, you might ask. For example, I often use BlueMind. And what is this thing for? If you are making a large visual novel with a bunch of plot forks, with a bunch of choices, with a bunch of possible endings, then you need to keep all this information in your head somehow. And if you try to write all plot forks in one text document, one after another, then this will quickly turn into a confusing mess because, well, it's just hard to, to follow a branching plot in one text document. And Mind Map Editor allows you to draw the structure of your visual novel. Then you can see what player decisions lead to what events, how the plot develops, you clearly see all plot forks and to what endings they lead. When your story is complex, it really helps you not to get confused and to monitor your progress. Because you can mark, for example, in different colors which parts of game have already been completed and so on. Since Blue Mind is no longer being developed and does not have an official website, you can use some other program, for example, Mind Map 2. 
it works in a browser, you need a Google account to run it. And if you watch a video on YouTube, then most likely you already have this account. To install this program, you must go to your Google Drive, right click, more, connect more apps, in search field type mind map and click install. After that, you can create mind maps directly in your Google Drive and work with them in any browser. It's very simple, convenient and has sufficient functionality to sketch the outline of a novel. So I highly recommend it. Now we are ready to start working on our first visual novel. So stay tuned in the next video.